Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to welcome you to this event hosted by the Oman Human Rights Commission as its delegation visiting Washington, D.C. The primary objective of this visit to meet with the officials from the United States Department of State and the Congress and other organizations to discuss human rights matters and enhance cooperation in this regard. In addition, we are honored to receive you this evening to introduce the Commission and its efforts to promote and protect human rights in Oman. Oman Human Rights Commission was established in 2008. Since then, it is working hard to fulfill its responsibilities through different means, such as monitoring violations and receiving direct complaints. As a result, the committee identifies and addresses human rights cases in cooperation with the relevant authorities. The Commission also suggests specific recommendations to the government in order to promote the provision of decent life for all citizens and residents in Oman. At the international level, Oman Commission is active through its memberships in the Global Alliance of National Human Rights Institutions, the Asia Pacific Forum, the Arab Network for National Human Rights Institutions, and the Permanent Committee of Human Rights at the Arab League. On the other hand, the Commission cooperates with the foreign governments and the international non-governmental organizations through reviewing their reports on the situation of human rights in Oman and prepares the required responses and recommendations. Distinguished guests, we recognize the significant responsibilities and challenges related to human rights worldwide. Therefore, we strongly believe that sincere cooperation and joint action among the global community states would definitely lead to more progress. In the framework of these principles, there must be further efforts to promote peace and security, justice and equality, freedom of expression, and combating human trafficking. In addition, women children, older persons, and disabled must be the main focus of the international community's care and attention. Hopefully, and according to our observations, Oman making continuous efforts and achievements in meeting these principles. Ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to be here in the States to exchange experience and extend our hands for more cooperation to protect and promote human rights. Thank you very much for joining us this evening and God bless you all.